Individual hearing will run for three days in October. Well, it's less than 12 hours until soccer's World Cup kicks off. All eyes are on São Paulo to see if Brazil can shake off those chaotic preparations. Mark Burrows filed this report a short time ago. Well, it will be ready in Brazil style, and that means pretty much anything can happen. In a few hours from now, thousands of fans will start streaming to the Arena Corinthians, which is about four kilometres from here. Now, the good news is that subway workers have decided not to strike. However, there is real concern that this opening game and ceremony between uh, the game between Brazil and Croatia could be the focus of demonstrations. And so 4,000 troops will be in position, supplemented by thousands of police. In the lead-up to this World Cup, we've seen riots, rubber bullets and tear gas. And it's got to be said, this opening day does present the anti-World Cup protesters with a powerful platform. Taking to the stage today will be Jennifer Lopez, rapper Pitbull, playing before a huge audience, a global audience of something like one billion people. Meanwhile, our Socceroos are in for a rude shock when they touch down in Cuiaba today ahead of their opening game. They'll be met by scorching heat, shocking infrastructure, and as the fans have discovered, a few local peculiarities. You know you've landed in a tropical backwater when you walk out of the arrivals hall to see military police wrestling with a two-metre cobra that had slithered into a car bonnet. But for the thousands of Aussie fans that have now touched down in Cuiaba, there's only one thing on their minds. In the last week or so, we've pretty much just been just looking at our watches waiting for the World Cup. The tourists will spend the next few days in a town that's anything but picture postcard Brazil. Nestled next to the Bolivian border, Cuiaba is the smallest host city at this World Cup. It's missed the majority of prosperity hitting parts of the nation. Just take a look at the street that leads to the heavily guarded Arena Pantanal where the Socceroos will face Chile. The stadium itself was only completed a fortnight ago. One of the Socceroos controversially described their beachside base camp in Victoria as a rundown version of the city of Cairns. Well, it would probably be pretty generous to describe Cuiaba as a rundown version of Alice Springs. It's bone dry, dusty, the heat is sweltering, it's been mid-30s here all week and the same conditions are forecast for game day on Friday. The city is actually closer to Chile than it is to Rio de Janeiro and 14,000 super confident Chileans are making the trek to the match. Who's going to win? Chile definitely. 2 -nil. Well, not according to Australia Zoo's predictor Roo, who's forecast Australia to score first. It seems every country has its own quirks of nature. Tom Steinbert, Nine News, Cuiaba, Brazil.